Alex, how are you guys? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> now guys, I saw a video on Trixie Mattel. We all love Trixie Mattel, a very popular drag queen. Was actually performing in Winnipeg recently, in fact. <clears throat> I think this was recent. I'm not sure if the video I saw was recent, but anyway, <clears throat> I live in Winnipeg. <clears throat> I might move, but I live in Winnipeg right now. So Trixie Mattel was talking, was, had, had like a <clears throat> uh, like kind of like uh, two ladies that were talking about their podcast video of their clip of their podcast on his show, but he just he's a drag performer. He has he's a YouTuber, TikToker, was on RuPaul's Drag Race. Trixie Mattel, look her up, she's amazing. Um, and so they said a couple of key points. So <clears throat> these girls were fundamentally Christian. They didn't believe in drag and. They thought that, that drag queens are overly sexualized and that they're in the mainstream, why, and you know, all this. And it's like, <clears throat> first of all, if you are following me and you've always liked me and thought, wow, you're amazing, how can you do the drag you do so well? I don't consider a drag queen, I don't know if I identify as a drag queen, but that's what it is. <clears throat> and you're wondering how I do it so well, how I, how, I, how I entertain you guys so well, how I remain so positive. <clears throat> well, this kind of video really helps me out because <clears throat> obviously drag is in the mainstream. I didn't even realize that. I mean, Devlin, I think her name is Devlin, the the transgender girl that talks about every day as a girl, becoming a girl. He has 20 million followers. Jeffree Star has 13 million followers. Uh, Nikki Thor has 13 million followers. Like these, <clears throat> these transgender people and drag queens the like Trixie Mattel has millions of followers. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race, millions of followers. RuPaul, millions of followers, right? So you see these people doing so well, and I always thought, well, it's still not the mainstream. I mean, it's drag, you know, but I mean, it really is in the mainstream. These things are in the mainstream, and <clears throat> these fundamental Christians, and I have no judgment against any religion, race, or any... Um, or any extra orientation, just like Trixie Mattel, but, you know, it's like, um, these fundamental Christians that I, I believe if you are a fundamental Christian, you should be allowed, and you should not be treated differently because of it, but if you're targeting other groups because you are fundamentally Christian, and you don't like certain groups, well, that's not really nice, right, and how is that Christian of you, right, but not, not me to judge, right, <clears throat> but anyway, these fundamental Christians will say all these negative things, and you hear the same story, you know, people will say, are you mentally ill? Are you suffering a breakdown? Are you unhappy? Are you this? Are you that? First of all, he, and, then, and then Trixie Mattel is like, we're just worried about the, the C CV skipping and making sure we perform, we get to the stage on time, right? Like, I mean, it's just a show, right? And they were also saying, you know, you're confusing your kids. They're going to want to be women or men, maybe, if they're female to male. Uh, but, yeah, so you're confusing your kids. Well, first of all, as a guy, I love being a guy. I would never change that. So Trixie Mattel goes on and says, you know, oh, most drag queens just like to be in costume. It's essentially a costume performing for the masses <clears throat> because everybody loves it. And it's something to do for fun, right? Like, it's just the performance, so calm down, right? Like, it's not a big deal, right? So I really valued that Trixie Mattel video. I was like, wow, that's really cool, you know? A couple of key points that he was mentioning really hit home with me. Now, for me, I love doing drag only because, like, I'm not, I don't identify as a drag queen. I'm not into the lifestyle. But I only identify, oh, well, I don't identify as it, but... I love doing drag because it's fun. Look how good I look as a girl, right? Like, who wouldn't want to look that good as a girl, honestly? I look better than most girls as girls, right? So, anyway, it was really interesting. And and just to say that it's in the mainstream, you know, I, I kind of I thought that. I wasn't sure. But to hear that from a, a mainstream drag queen kind of puts it all together, right? And, you know, there's transgender people that are popular. There's drag queens that are popular, there's uh, women that are very like drag queens, Teresa Jadis, I look like Teresa Jadis as a drag queen, or I don't identify as that, but you know what I mean, 
and Tradisha Jadis is like a, essentially a drag queen, right? She's over the top, sexy, gorgeous look, right? <clears throat> Makeup, hair, all that is fun, right? And to be told you can't believe it, and then that so they Trixie Mattel was also saying, you know, these girls will talk about how they converted someone. It's like, well, that's dangerous. It's not really healthy for someone to 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 keep that inside, right? And and what's the point of converting them? I mean, if you naturally switch to the other side, if you want to call it that, I mean, you're allowed to do whatever you want, right? But if you if you switch to being a hetero non drag queen, you know how how is that going to help you if you're really not, right? So you know, essentially, it just goes down to different belief systems. Most Christians that I know, most Catholics that I know love drag queens. They're entertaining, they're fun, they're great. They don't care if they're gay, bi, straight, whatever, right? They just love drag queens, right? And um, this is when you get to the fundamental ones that really believe it's, it's a flaw, right? And, you know, for me, I mean, for me, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Now, I don't I identify as a drag queen, but to be free to not be typecast is amazing for me. I really love being able to do drag, if you call it that, and do it and perform as that and look so good. For me, it's not even about the identity of it all. It's more like, am I entertained to the best of my abilities? Am I looking the part of a woman? Do I look amazing? If a guy was to see me and another woman, would he choose me over the other woman because I look so good, right? And I don't date as Melina, I buy as a guy. But just the fact that, that that's cool, you know, to me that's a cool thing, you know, I, I value that. I think it's really funny that girls will have a harder time dating. I don't even date as Melina, but girls will have a harder time dating a guy or a girl even because I'm more sexy than they are, right? It's funny to me. I just think it's very cool, right? Anyway, totally enjoyed the show, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye now.